Yes. Now we'll discuss about the development of testes. As you know, genitourinary system develops from intermediate biotin and cloaca. Cloaca divides into unibladder, primitive urethra, pelvic and phallic part of urogenital sinus. And begins ectoderm, endoderm, this is mesoderm, here is notochord, and here is paraxial mesoderm. This is intermediate mesoderm and there is lateral plate mesoderm. So here is lateral plate mesoderm. So this is intermediate mesoderm. Here if you see, this is This portion of the gut. From Pueca, from Pueca, this is Pueca, from Pueca, primordial. Germ cells passes through this and reach it into this area where this gonads develops. This is primordial germ, germ cells. This is medial side of this nephrogenic card, this intermediate medial form nephrogenic card here. So this part, this part of silomic epithelium become thickened and forms genital ridge. Here, genital ridge is formed. So this is genital ridge. This is genital ridge. This is formed in the And here, this genital ridge again divides and forms. numerous cells which are arranged in form of the cars. So these are known as sex card cells. These are sex card cells and these form card. So here sex card cells arranged in form of the card and Primordial junctions from here it reaches and it incorporated with this card cells. The primordial junctions incorporated with the card cells and here seminiferous tubules are found. This card cells again arrange and canalize. This card is canalized to form tubules. Here semi ferrous tubules are found. We are semi ferrous tubules. So semi ferrous tubules are found. And another structure, as you know, here is position of this is paramutanephric duct, and here is another structure that is mesonephric duct. This mesonephric duct is connected with the mesonephric tubules. These are the mesonephric tubules. These are the mesonephric tubules. If you see in this the vertical plane, you will find this area.
here the seminiferous tubules are formed here are the seminiferous tubules here are seminiferous tubules these card cells form the seminiferous tubules in which the primordial germ cells are incorporated so primordial germ cells present in this so this is seminiferous tubules and here is this is coelomic epithelium this is coelomic epithelium here is coelomic epithelium which differentiate and form this card there is major kind of cells lie between the coelomic epithelium and this seven the uh, this tubules and here is forms the fibrous tissue the major kind of cells here form the fibrous tissue between coelomic epithelial cells and the sex card this is tunica albuginea this is tunica albuginea With formation of the tunica albuginea, this coelomic epithelium becomes separated with the seminiferous tubules. That's why, further, there is no any contribution of this coelomic epithelium in formation of the seminiferous tubules. So, further, no other seminiferous tubules are formed. And here is position of. the ends join with each other and form the rating testes and here is portion of this duct this is this is mesonephric duct here are mesonephric tubules These are million of tubules. In upper part, these tubules, and in lower part, these tubules become degenerated. Most of become degenerated, and here these are connected with the rete testes, and these tubules forms vasa efferentia. So here, seminary fresh tubules are formed. Rete testes, the ends join to form rete testes, and here the efferent tubules are formed by mesial effect tubules. These are the mesial effect tubules. In upper part here you can see these tubules become degenerated. In lower part is degenerated, and middle part it joins with rete testes and form the here are the rete testes. And form vasa efferentia, and this vasa efferentia joins with the mesial effect duct, and this mesial effect duct, the upper part is highly coiled, this highly coiled upper part, and form the epididymis. Epididymis, and you see here this part where no. the tubes are connected this part persists as this is appendix of the epididymis this part persists this cranial part of the mesonephric duct persists and lies above the head of the epididymis it is known as appendix of epididymis appendix of epididymis and this part form the vas deferens and here is portion of uro genital sinus and here this form the Seminal vesicle. 
Seven of S is four, and this is this become the ejaculate result. And you can see here this part. This is inferior. Most part of this tubules are absent, but some part persists. Some part of this, these tubules are persist and form the inferior aberrant tubules. And superiorly also some part of these tubules are persist and form the superior aberrant tubules. And some part here, some part also present, which are not connected to testis, lies between these. These are known as paradigms. Some part lies here, some part of tubules form the para. Dynes. So these tubules, these are here tubules are connected with testis or epididymis. So these tubules, these tubules are like this. They are connected with this testis. These tubules are connected with the testis, and some tubules are neither connected with the testis nor the epididymis. Otherwise, it will be like this. So these are these are superior aberrant tubule, they are inferior aberrant tubule, they are paralidomis, and others which are connected with form the was a difference here and here reti test is and connected with the seminal vessels so this is superior aberrant this is inferior aberrant and this is the paradidamis and under structure under structure here as you know this is paramedionephric duct this is para, this is open part of the para nephed duct. Para medio nephed duct. This is para medio nephed duct. This is para medio nephed duct. Here is joint with the opposite side. And form the uterovaginal canal. Uterovaginal canal. And this canal in female form the uterus. And this form the uterine tube. Here, uterus and cervix is formed here. Here, a tubercle is formed that is known as paramedio nephric tubercle. This is paramedio. Tubercle. So this is paramedial tubercle here. here. Uterovagal canal joins with this. In case of male, this part becomes absent, degenerate, this part becomes degenerate. Only this upper part, this upper part persists. In some cases, this upper part persists and form the Appendix of this is appendix of the testis. Remember, appendix of epididymis is formed by cranial part of mesonephric duct, and appendix of the testis is formed by cranial part of the paramesonephric duct. And this here uterovaginal canal. It forms in female uterus and upper part of vagina. In male, it forms the 
prostatic utricle here prostatic utricle is formed here, this is prostatic part of your thighs form this is this all part become degenerated and here this prostatic utricle is formed prostatic utricle is formed so this is prostatic utricle this is prostatic part of urethra here so uh, this is development of the testis thank you